Hello, 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 and welcome to another Ring Rouge unit of the Reek. And today, we're taking a look at the Z-9A HJ-8 Chinese Anti-Tank Helicopter. We talked about the AA version of this helicopter, new to the Reek number 113, just about half a decade ago. So I'm sure it's still in everyone's memories. So I'm going to keep this rather brief. The Z-9A is a Chinese-built licensed copy of the French Eurocopter, which entered into Chinese service in the early 90s. They used it as a transportation helicopter, but also if you slap some pylons onto it as an anti-tank or anti-helicopter or even aircraft helicopter. It would produce just about 200 of these helicopters and they're still in service today. You know, the armed versions were considered more of a stopgap for the Chinese attack helicopters eventually into service, the WZ-10. In-game, the Z-9A HJ-8 is a 60-point anti-tank helicopter available to China and it has a single weapon. And that weapon is the HJ-8B missile. You have four of these ATGMs with a very nice 2.8 kilometer range, 60% accuracy, 45% run on the move, 24 armor penetration power to boot as well. It is a pretty decent missile, all things considering. You just don't get a lot of them. Down to the miscellaneous stats, it has no armor whatsoever, 6 HP, medium size, poor optics, a speed of 300 kilometers, and poor stealth. Good fuel autonomy of 900 kilometers, year restricted to 1992. It's a prototype and is available in armored, mechanized, motorized, and airborne decks. So in battle, the Z-9A HJ-8, which I'm just going to call the flying Chinese anti-tank helicopter, it's a pretty good flying Chinese anti-tank helicopter. The missiles definitely do slap. Enemy tanks, that is another armored vehicles. You have that 2.8 kilometer range, which is farther than most other ATGMs, especially in this price range. You got a good amount of accuracy for that range and a respectable armor penetration power to boot. Yes, you're not going to be blowing up super heavy tanks really nearly with this thing, but other more regular like medium-ish heavy tanks will die very quickly. And also this is a flying unit. You can always side shot the enemy if the opportunity does present itself. And it is very cost effective at only 60 points. If we look at the MI-28 for example with rather similar missiles, that's a 130 point unit. Yes, you do get extra capabilities with that, but usually, you know, if you're buying an anti-tank helicopter such as that, you really just need it to blow up tanks in the end of the day and you're just using it as a flying ATGM carrier. The main thing too is that this unit is extremely useful in a Red Dragon deck because, well, first off, you don't have any infantry ATGMs, so you're going to need to supplement that with your very good vehicle-based ATGMs as well as helicopter base. And compared to the other helicopters in the Red Dragon tab, they don't really have any good missiles at all. Anti-tank missiles, it is. But also, this thing pairs really well with its anti-helicopter counterpart. You buy both of these and you have a decent little mobile firing platform. The anti-helicopter one can keep other helicopters and even airplanes at bay, while this thing just blows up tanks. The main issue you have is just making sure it doesn't get shot, because it's a rather vulnerable helicopter with no armor and 6 HP, and you only have 4 missiles. And if you're shooting at long range, it does give the enemy a lot of time to react and move out of the ray. So you're probably not going to get too many kills if your enemy is paying attention. And you're going to have to fly back to the FOB quite often if you did buy one, that is, to resupply. You also get good availability in a standard Red Dragon deck with 10 of these helicopters available per card. And that's good, because you only get one card of them. So you better make them count. But overall... It's a really good helicopter for what you're getting. If you blow up one mid-range tank with it, you've already paid yourself off. Yes, it will eventually die to some sneaky crow towel or chaparral, but that's the life of a helicopter in Wargame. Also, a uh, happy Valentine's Day. I was considering doing the same gag we did last year by covering the Valentine tank, but the only other Valentine tank in ST2 is the Valentine Mark III, and that thing just kind of sucks. It wouldn't really be all that interesting to talk about. It's not very good. Like, that's unit of the Reek right here for Valentine Mark III. But yeah, uh, happy Valentine's Day. And as usual, guys, please just take it easy.